Welcome to Recon Wall's video tutorial series. In this video, I will explain the process for setting up the section geometry for your wall analysis within Recon Wall 4.0. Now that you have completed the project and section information, you are ready to set up your section geometry. To begin, click on Geometry from the side menu to bring up the Section Geometry screen. The first input box is Wall Height. Please note that the wall height is measured as the actual block height and not the exposed wall height. The exposed wall height is shown in italics and is based upon your chosen wall embedment. The next input box is for wall batter. If you have chosen to use Recon Series 50 block from the project information screen, two wall batter angles are available for use, 3.58 degrees and 7.13 degrees, which is equivalent to 1 and 2 inches of setback per course respectively. If you choose to use 7.13 degrees of batter, please be aware that this will require the installer to insert a spacer bar behind each block tongue during installation. The addition of this spacer bar will add approximately 60 cents per square foot of wall face to the total wall cost. The 7.13 degree batter should only be used on gravity walls with no geogrid and with heights less than 14.67 feet. This height restriction is due to the shear capacity of the spacer bar and is based upon testing data. If you have chosen to use Recon Channel Block from the Project Information screen, a batter angle of 26.58 degrees will be shown. This is the standard batter angle for Recon Channel Block and is equivalent to 8 inches of setback per course. Please note that it is highly recommended that a global stability analysis be completed for all walls that utilize a batter greater than 20 degrees. For additional information on global stability analysis, refer to the software help menu or the global stability analysis tutorial video. Located below the batter angle drop down menu is an input box that allows you to enter wall embedment. Recon recommends that walls with no slope at the toe or the front have an embedment of 6 inches or h over 20, whichever is greater. For walls that do have a toe slope condition, additional embedment is recommended and will likely be required for stability analysis. The amount of embedment recommended for walls with a toe slope is based upon two sets of criteria. Distance to daylight and percentage of wall height. This graphic shows the concept of distance to daylight and both NCMA and ASHTO recommend that this distance be no less than 4 feet. The minimum suggested embedment, as shown in the dialog box, is the greater of the two values calculated based upon the mentioned criteria. If the value entered in the embedment input box is less than the suggested value, the dialog box will display as yellow. If the embedment value entered is greater, then the dialog box will display as light beige. Regardless of the amount of embedment suggested within the dialog box, Recon recommends that the final embedment depth be determined based upon the results of internal, external, and global stability analysis. Below the embedment input box are several boxes that allow you to modify the dimension parameters of the leveling pad. Recon recommends that the leveling pad be a minimum of 6 inches thick and consist of either crushed stone or concrete. The default for Recon Wall 4.0 is crushed stone, but this can be modified by switching to concrete on the soil screen. The next few boxes allow you to input wall backslope information, including angle from horizontal, the horizontal length of the slope, and the slope offset as measured from the back face of the block. This graphic defines the location and the dimensions for the input values that may be entered for backslope conditions. Next you will find three boxes that contain settings used in MSE designs. The default values shown are based upon the design methodology that you have chosen from the section information screen. These values may be modified as needed based upon your specific analysis needs. The next column of inputs allow you to enter live and dead load information, including magnitude, 
offset from the back of the block, and load width. Located just to the right and new to Recon Wall 4.0 is a set of input boxes that allow you to enter a second live load. Below the live and dead load input fields are a set of boxes that allow you to enter information regarding the toe slope at the front of the wall. The inputs consist of slope angle, horizontal length, and slope bench. This graphic defines the location and dimensions for the input values that may be entered for toe slope conditions. The checkbox labeled water within B depth, located below the toe slope input fields, allows you to include water in the analysis of your retaining wall section. Information regarding the use of this checkbox and the various water analysis features within Recon Wall 4.0 can be found in the water, buoyancy, and rapid drawdown tutorial video as well as the software help menu. The final set of input boxes, located below the second live load, are for showing cut dimensions and including parapet walls. The show cut dimension option is for visual reference only and does not actually affect the analysis parameters for the software. The parapet wall input boxes allow you to account for the dead load of a parapet at the top of your retaining wall. With regards to overturning and sliding, it is considered conservative to ignore the parapet load, but for analysis that may be controlled by bearing, it is recommended that this weight be included. Please note that these inputs do not allow you to account for any lateral load that may be applied to the parapet wall. If lateral loads, such as a vehicle impact, are required for your project, these will need to be accounted for separately as they are beyond the scope of this software. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial video on setting up your section geometry within Recon Wall 4.0. If you have additional questions regarding how to set up your section geometry, please refer to the software help menu or contact us directly and we will be glad to help you out.